Hello, everybody. It is um, way later. I was actually out running errands this morning, and then I was like, oh, I never did my live. <laughs> so, pop up. Um, so, if you're watching this live, uh, hashtag live. If you're watching it replay, hashtag replay, and then that way the algorithms catch it and more people can see it. Um, today, I wanted to talk about year in review. I'm over here and not my normal background because it gets dark in my office. And so this is like the best life. So I honestly cannot even like begin. I'm like, it is December. It is December, everybody. Um, and so it's just amazing. Like as we get older, like how quickly the years go by and my dad has this theory, and I think he might be right about this, is like, like when you're one, one year is like your entire life, right? And then when you're like two, one year is half of your life, right? So it's like, it's like a fraction, one half of your life. But if you're 51, like I am, a year is 151. That's the fraction, Okay, I'm going to start doing math now. But like, essentially, that fraction gets smaller and smaller and smaller. So the years go by quicker and quicker and quicker as we grow older and older and older. Um, so um, anyway, um, that's neither here nor there, except that it's freaking December already. Okay, so <clears throat> December is an amazing time to start to reflect on this past year. Okay. And also to start like thinking about like what you want your next year to look at. Right. Like I talked about this a little bit on my birthday last month because my birthday is at the end of the year. I get to kind of do a <clears throat> double, a double thing, like a double end of the year thing. This is me at 430. Just by the way, people like I'm much better in the morning. So <laughs> a little bit more, more focused. Um, but you know, this is a really good time of year to reflect essentially. Right. And so when you take the time, um, you know, we want to look at what are all of our accomplishments are. Hi, Amy. Um, because as humans, we're hardwired to look at all the things that we didn't accomplish or the things that we didn't do. Like we're, our brains are hardwired for the negative, quite honestly. Um, <clears throat> and so, and that actually is a survival mechanism from like when we were like Neanderthals, right? Like we're constantly like looking out for threats, right? And because of that, our brains have been hardwired to look at um, the negative. So um, so to counter that, here's what I want you all to do, is to um, put on some chill mu music. Oh man, my 10,000 steps just went because I talk with my hands so much, like my Fitbit, like legit thinks that I'm like, just, just moving around, exercising all the time. Okay, so put on some chill music or some meditation music or some theta music. If you guys haven't done theta, it's amazing. It automatically just drops you into like this super zen state. It's um, when I do hypnotherapy sessions, um, I often put on theta music because it helps um, the client kind of get into a deeper state of relaxation. So theta music, you can find it on YouTube. They have like nine hours straight of it. It's awesome. Um, <clears throat> get out your journal, what I like to call your trusty therapist in your pocket, and go back to January of 2022 and start writing down all of the things that you accomplished this year. Okay. Um, what I like to do, because sometimes I'm like, well, I don't know what I did in January or in March or whatever, like if there was nothing significant, like go into your phone or like into your calendar or whatever and just go through your calendar. Because I know I put in personal stuff and I put in professional stuff, but business stuff in my calendar. So but like go back and be like, oh, OK, that's right. I started this or I started to do that. So it's just a, a, a way for you to remind yourself of all the things that you did this year and like list out all of the accomplishments, big and small, like 
you might just be like, oh, you know, like I, I lost five pounds or I gained five pounds if that's an accomplishment. Like whatever it is, like I would, didn't freak out when my parents came to visit. Like all of these things are accomplishments. And then just reflect on it and relish all of it and be in that present moment. There's nothing better and more healing than being in a present moment. I was just on um, a client call right before this and we wound up doing a spontaneous um, past life regression um, because she has a lot of stuff that's coming up in her present life and we just, we went to a past life and um, and the message was that um, to be, to, to essentially make ceremony out of that present moment. And I just thought that was so beautiful. So make ceremony out of your present moment. So it's like, if you're making a cup of tea, be in that moment. Because when we're in the present moment, all of this crazy making, I have thousands thing, of things to do, or I should have done that, it ceases to exist because we're in that present moment. Power of now, Eckhart Tolle, total fan girl. Okay, so relish all of it. Um, and then now, and then once that's done, then start to focus on 2023. And I'm not talking resolutions. I never make resolutions. Actually, that's not true. I made one resolution one year when I was back in New York and I was, I had a gym membership and I never went to the gym. And so January 1st, I was like, this is my new year's resolution. I'm quitting the gym. And I went in there and they were like, wow, I don't think anybody has ever <laughs> done that I was like well I don't go and I'm giving you guys 80 bucks a month which in like 2000 was I mean a lot of money for a gym and I was like I just basically gave you a thousand dollars for something I never use so this is my resolution to quit the gym and it was awesome so that was the one time I made a resolution but I'm not talking resolutions I'm thinking theme words I'm like trying not to get the reflection in my eyes so I'm going like this a lot okay so theme words what do you want your 2023 to look like? Okay. What vibe are you feeling? Do you need to like rest and like nourish yourself? Or are you kind of feeling more of that divine masculine where you're just like, I'm going in, I'm going to, you know, blow my life up in the most amazing way. Right. And so, um, another thing you could do is, um, pull some Oracle cards. I have two that I love. Um, this is like super old school. It's the guided, the goddess guidance Oracle cards. Like these are, I don't know, legit so old and what's crazy. And I'm not like, you know, bagging on, um, people who are Christian because everybody has their own belief system and I honor however that comes through. But like the woman who made these Doreen Virtue, um, full on, because I went to her Instagram page and she's like full on born again, um, Christian. And she was like, all these are like the devil. And I was like, oh my God, like, oh my God. Wow. Wow. Okay. I still love them. I think they're great. Anyway, she does not. Um, this is the other one that I got, which is super awesome. It's called the Starseed Oracle. And um, they're just really pretty. And the energy behind them is awesome. Okay, so for my birthday, like I said, I get a little lucky because I just do a double, like a double end of year review. I was like, let me pull some cards. And I still have these up here because I think they were so powerful that I haven't been able to put them back in my deck. So... I was like, what is going to be my theme for this coming year? So I pulled Hathor, which is the goddess of receptivity. Okay. I got that one from the goddess deck. Allow yourself to receive. This will increase your intuition, energy, and ability to give to others. All right. So I was like, all right, that's fine. And, um, and I was like, all right, you know, all right, cool. And then I 
was like, you know what? Let me try my other cards too and just like see. I guess I don't know. Maybe I wasn't feeling her, but I love her. And I love all you guys all know that I'm like full on into like divine feminine and receiving because honestly, receiving is the hardest thing that every single one of us grapples with. Um, I have a friend who's extremely sick right now and um, his he's really starting to, he was sharing that this is about receiving. And like I say all the time after Jack died, that was, um, the biggest, the biggest by proxy lesson, right? There's tons of lessons in, in, um, grief, but, uh, to basically learn how to receive all the love that was coming my way from that experience. So, um, so anyway, I was like, let me go pull the star seed. What did I get? We, the Hathors. Seriously? Like, okay, Hathor. I might have to like do some research on, on her. Um, deep love, mother's milk, birth as a portal. Um, so basically receiving <laughs> on a lot of levels is going to be my theme for 2023. So it's a great way to help you come up with your theme for the following year. Um, and so, you know, great way. You could also, if something might just intuitively come to you as well. So what I like to share with people is pick one thing you would like to focus on in terms of personal and spiritual growth. And, you know, and if that happens to be ripped up in your business also, do that also. Hi, Joanne. Um, and so like, do you want healthier relationships this year? Do you want more discipline in your spiritual practice? More self-love, more soul care? Um, write all of this down and put it like on a vision board or put it in your journal. Some people have like vision journals or like I have right here is like a little windowsill and I have my stuff up here, but some place where you can see it so that you can manifest what you want in 2023. So that is what I want to share with you all today. Um, I might go get my Christmas tree because I apparently have a lot of energy today. So I might just take advantage of it. Um, and um, that is all. I will see you all. Well, I'll see you in here, but I'll see you next Monday. Maybe possibly a whole bunch of pop-ups. Um, Oh, and then also what I'm thinking, and maybe I'll put this in a different little live or something like that. I was thinking it would be fun because I asked the group for like things that you would love to learn from me. And I got like three topics. Like one is karma and past life. Another one is like navigating stress. Another one was about like relationships um, with yourself and other people. But I was like, wouldn't it be fun if like every week I just say, okay, ask me your questions. And then I came on here and I answered them. I think that'd be kind of fun. So if you like that idea, drop it below and let me know. And um, I'm going to hit the road and start to get dinner ready and possibly get my um, Christmas tree. Okay. Mwah. Love you all. Bye.